Hey, YouTube, as I said. Okay. So, I wanted to mention a little thing that a few of you might be aware of. And then again, there might be some who aren't aware of it. But, when it comes to the lands of this plane or continent, uh, sorry, new phone, still getting used to it. But when it comes to the plane and all of the continents that make it what it is. Now, they try to say that the lands are no longer connected. Well, I'd have to disagree. See... Dan Calloway mentioned this in one of his documentaries. Um, but he mentioned Gondwana. See, Gondwana is what our ancestors called these lands because they were one. They've always been one. See, most would believe that Gondwana was broken apart and the continent supposedly separated. Well, that is not true. See, you have to put Antarctica into play when it comes to Gondwana. See, the lands that lie beyond the South Pole, okay? Those lands, they say, are uninhabited. I don't know about that. See, they say a lot of things, and it's 99% of the time is the opposite of what they say. So we will go with the assumption, okay? The assumption that those lands which lie beyond the South Pole, are indeed uninhabited, okay? Let's, let's go with and say it's uninhabited for sake of argument. We don't know for sure. I'm pretty sure they're not uninhabited. I'm pretty sure they're inhabited, okay? I mean, hell, they said our lands was uninhabited, and, well, we were here. So, there you go. But, for the sake of argument... We'll say it's uninhabited for those lands that lie beyond the South Pole. Now, most of you are probably wondering why, what does this have to do with anything? Well, it has a lot to do with how Gondwana is what it is. Those lands beyond the South Pole connect the Americas and Africa together. That is how you put them together, because you have to put Antarctica into play. See, t keeping Antarctica out of play, looking at the Mercator map, which we all should know is a crap, okay? It's upside down. You know, they have literally made things look bigger than what they are. Things have managed to gain a northern hemisphere from its original southern <clears throat> hemisphere. Europe, uh, <laughs> but the thing about it, those lands are connected to each other. They connect our continent to Africa. That puts every piece, every continent together. Straight up, it puts them together. Then you'll see the bigger picture of what's really going on. They are hiding the truth about a lot of things, my Niji. There's not one thing they've told us the truth on, okay? They have tried to put themselves in history, which before our history, there is nothing before our history, okay? This plane started with us, and it will end the same way. 
with us, the indigenous aborigines of the plane or the planet, whatever term you want to use. Okay? So, when it comes to how do we get them to start telling the truth? Well, stop believing their lies for one. Then, maybe, you'll start to see a crack in those shells of stories that they keep telling. Because you start chipping away at their lies enough, well, eventually, they might start to slip up and tell the truth a little bit more, as they should have been doing to begin with. But we already know the so-called powers that be don't know how to tell the truth to save their life. So, that's probably something that's never going to happen. Unfortunately, but it's true. So, basically, what needs to be done is stop believing their lies. Do your own research. Use critical thinking skills. That is what you need to start using. At the end of the day, start using critical thinking. Because your critical thinking skills, it is going to come in handy for you to be able to see everything that they do. You will lift the veil of ignorance. Okay? They want you to be oblivious in everything. Don't be oblivious anymore, my, my need you. It's... Our, we've been in ignorance for too long. And quite frankly, I'm tired of it. Like, literally. I'm tired of living in ignorance. I'm tired of seeing my people struggle when they don't need to. We live in a land that is ours. They have taken it. And they're desecrating it. Every chance that they get. So, we need to wake up and take back what is ours, okay? Our land, our plane, our domain, okay? We need to take it back. Because if we don't, this cycle will continue repeatedly over and over. I, I'm tired of it. They have been telling these lies for over a hundred years. Okay? They have been on our land for over five centuries. It's time for these European or African pale faces to move on off of my land. Period. It's time to go. You've overstayed your welcome on my land with the atrocities that have been committed towards my people, towards my land, the desecration of my land and the lands in general. You've desecrated it because you don't respect it, which is fine because you're not of it. So I don't expect you to respect my land. But guess what? Your time of being on my land is over. All right? Let's just say that. It's time of... It's about time for you to realize my people are not blind anymore. Okay? Let's get that straight. So, to all of my Niji, I need you to wake up. Realize your warriors. Realize this is your home, your house, your domain. And those who are in power right now have no jurisdiction or authority over you. Because guess what? This is not their land. It's ours. 
we are the descendants of the original landlords of these lands. So it's time for them to pay up. And if you can't pay up, guess what? You got to go. But me personally, I don't care about their money. I just want my land and I want them gone off of my land. That's what I want. That's what all of you should want. But like I said, Stop believing their lies and stop looking for your answers on a map that they created. Mind you, they created this map purposely to hide what things really look like, where things are really located, okay? And what really puts things together. Tribes most high, my Niji.